See, we getting ready to have another one of them crazy days again. But hey, it's all good. I ain't complaining. But YouTube, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. It's like every time we make a video about Latavius Murray, the Ravens turn around right, at, literally right after that. And they make a, a corresponding move at the running back position. Yesterday, we had just finished the, the Latavius Murray video. What happened right after that? Oh, Raven signed Le'Veon Bell to the practice squad. So then today, we finished the Latavius Murray video, dropped it, just put it out. And then right after that, the Ravens signed Trenton Cannon. And they put uh, Justice Hill on injury reserve. And they waived Jordan Richards uh, and that is the uh, unfortunate price that has to be paid whenever you add to the roster you must take away um, so Jordan Richards ended up being the casualty here uh, and he was of course a big special teams guy so you know this really shows the rate again when they cut Levine and put him out there in free agency they ran that risk with them cutting Jordan Richards and putting him out in free agency, this just doubles down on how much the Ravens really love their young safeties. Because they could cut a Geno Stone. They could cut an Ardarius Washington. They can cut any of those guys, but they didn't. So shout out to the young safeties who the Ravens are really fond of. But anyway, Trenton Cannon. Um, who I know a lot of us weren't familiar with his name uh, a few days ago, but then yesterday when it started buzzing that the Ravens were interested in uh, Trenton Cannon and that they were expected to sign him, a lot of us started looking at him. We started looking at his work, looking at what he can do. I know a lot of people pulled up YouTube and they saw that nice kick return he got for a touchdown, but I had to take it a little step further and, and look at some stuff from him in college. And in college, he ran a lot because he in the NFL, he spent some time with the Panthers and some time with the Jets. Brief stints, uh, but he was mostly a special teams guy. Uh, he was a gunner, Justice Hill. He was a returner, Justice Hill. So, And he's a running back, Justice Hill. So he is filling the exact role that Justice Hill had. And now a lot of us, we got this whole thing twisted. It's Well, me. I can't speak for anybody else. I got it twisted. I thought it was going to be the other way around where the Ravens signed Le'Veon Bell to the active roster and they signed Trenton Cannon to the practice squad. But Ravens said, oh, this dude ain't great. <laughs> he be thinking that he knows some stuff. This dude don't know nothing. And they couldn't be more right because yet again, I, I am more wrong. So again, Trenton Cannon to active roster and Le'Veon Bell to practice squad. So Trenton Cannon, what does he bring to this Ravens team? He brings... Same thing, Justice Hill brought a lot of speed. A lot of, like, this dude is fast. Fast. Blazing fast. And his value, it, it increases. Again, you know Ravens, it's the more you can do. On offense, John Harbaugh, it's like, the more you can do, okay, cool. On defense, John Harbaugh and Wink, like, oh, yeah, the more you can do, cool. But on special teams, Harbaugh, like, the more you can do, let's go. I love it. And Trenton Cannon, he's going to be a good fit uh, because he can do so many different things. Now, uh, at Virginia State, I think it was Virginia State, that the college he went to, they ran a lot of that RPO, the same stuff that Ravens run. They did a lot of it at Virginia State. And what you notice when you watch Trenton Cannon, very, very decisive, very, very quick decisions because he is very, very quick fast and he gets going in a hurry he ain't back there dancing around behind the offensive line he ain't back there chilling he ain't back there having a party talking with his quarterback oh what do you think i should do quarterback well i don't know trenton what do you think you should do you want to take the ball you want to take the handoff or should i keep it well i don't know man but he ain't back there doing all that he takes the ball and he takes off he takes off he can also catch too now something else to think about I know we, we, we think about what he can do in the offense and what would be expected of him, but we got to think about expectations. He's not going to be expected to be our number one running back, obviously, not even a number two running back. Right now, as of right now, today, Wednesday, September, September 8th, as of right now, he would just be primarily special teams and he would be Ravens running back three. Because, again, 
Gus Edwards, Tyson Williams, and Trent, then Trenton Cannon. Uh, and I've seen some people say, oh, maybe we need to give Pat Ricard more carries. No, not, not as a running back. No, he, no. We love Pat Ricard, but no. Uh, so, and again, this is the way that it is before Le'Veon Bell either gets a temporary call up or he gets put on the actual active roster. So that's how things are as of right now. So he's not going to be expected to do much. Uh, but from looking at his film, like I said, he, he, he'll fit right in. He'll fit right in. And something that seems to be uh, one of the Ravens' biggest, their biggest uh, things that they've been, they've been going after this offseason has been speed. Need for speed. Shout out to Willie Sneed, by the way, who we're going to see in five days. Need for Sneed. But anyway, the Ravens, they've been going after a lot of speed. Of course, Lamar Jackson. I mean, we already know how that guy gets down. Um, Sammy Watkins. Who has some underrated speed. Hollywood. I mean, we, we know about Hollywood speed already. Rashad Bateman, more underrated speed. Devin DuVernay, we know. Uh, Boy, Boykin, well, he's on the sideline right now. Uh, Proche, we love you, Proche. But that that's not his area of expertise. Catching everything now, that's Proche. But speed. Uh, anyway, um, Mark Andrews, Josh Oliver. So again, Ravens been they they've been adding all this speed all around. So Trenton, you gonna fit right in. You gonna fit right into Ravens offense if called upon. But it, it just makes me that much more comfortable with him moving forward, knowing that he's been there, done that. And when you watch his play style again, it's a very very good fit. He won't be asked to do too much. Again, the special team, whatever you need him to do. Whatever you need him to do. If you want to be like, you know what, Devin DuVernay, um, you've, been a, you've been a good kick returner for us, but we're going to go with Trenton. Okay, cool. You know what? Um, need a third running back. Gus, the game, this game pretty much over. Uh, Tyson, you've been doing your thing. Trenton, you, you go in there and you get some carries too. Let's go ahead. Let's, let's, let's just bring it home. Okay. Um, we need some more people to catch some passes out of the backfield. Gus, you've been doing your thing. Okay. Tyson, hey, we love you too, man. But Trenton, go, go ahead. Okay. Oh, man. We got to punt the ball now. Hopefully, we don't see Sam Cook at all Monday night. But if we do, uh, oh, man, we got to punt the ball now. We need some gunners. All right. Adafi away. That that was just a preseason thing. Let's not, let's not do that regular season, Ravens. We, I mean, it looks it looks cool. It looks cool. You see this giant running down the field. Him and Chris Westry out there as gunners. It's nice looking, but let's not do that in regular season. Let's not put our first round draft pick on special teams regular season. No, let's not do that. It just gives me flashbacks, even. Two years ago, when in preseason, they did it in preseason, not regular season, but preseason, they put Hollywood at punt return. It didn't look good. And then uh, it, it takes me way back, though, to when Laudarius Webb, Spider-Man, when they had him at a punt return in, in a, a rookie. No, he was a third round pick, though. So that's a little different. But still, it was a blowout game. It was a blowout game. And, you know, things could just happen. Things could happen. It could happen to anybody on any given play. But it was a blowout game, I think, against the Bears or something at M&T Bank. And they had Ladarius Webb out there returning punts. And he ended up tearing his ACL. And that was the start of a career that would be filled with injuries for Webby. Still used to be my favorite cornerback when he was playing. But it's all good, man. Shout out to Ladarius Webb. Even got hurt the Super Bowl year. When he was covering, I think, Dez Bryant. I think he was covering Dez Bryant. And that's when he got hurt. Super Bowl year. Out for the year that game. Anyway, let's let's not put a Dafi away as a gunner. But hey, Trent, you we need another gunner. You could go, oh yeah, yeah, I got it, coach. There you go. So again, his value, the more you can do. And that's Raven's motto. The more you can do. Team keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love you all. I, I thank you all so, so, so much. For being so supportive and always being so positive and taking that same positivity and sharing, with, sharing it with other people. Whether it be other Ravens content creators, whether it's when we all in the, the Ravens live streams and we all in the comment section and whatnot. Because the positivity goes a super long way. 
a lot of y'all are dealing with a lot of stuff. We all dealing with some type of stuff one way or another. But be there for each other. Be there for your people. Be there for your friends. Be there for your family, man. Because we all we got, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I hope y'all have a really, really great day. I'll see you all later on because we got a lot more to talk about. But for now, we out.